I bro is happening, dude. I don't usually it's Stav by the way, man. If you ain't know me, if you don't know me, man, it's Stav got ran. You know they call me Stav out here. But anyways, I don't usually be doing these type of stuff, like commenting on social media. Although I do be on social media, so I be on that shade room stuff and whatnot, baller alert and stuff. You know, you know me. I be on that stuff and I be reading into like typical beefs that be going on, like the Drake and Meek Mill stuff. Today, what we going over is the Soldier Boy and Chris Brown beef. So I'm gonna be going into this saying who should you know who gonna be winning out here who who should be winning man who do you think is gonna win that's gonna be the question of the day man the question of the video so that's what we're gonna be getting into so yep soldier boy versus chris brown i'm gonna be explaining if you guys don't know i will be explaining what happened how the beef started basically the whole entire timeline of the beef for those who may not know what's going on so soldier boy and chris brown it all started off with so this is actually gonna turn into a new segment man i'm gonna be speaking on you know just the typical the news that's going on currently right now you know like i said shade room stuff i'm gonna be talking on beasts just news social media stuff that's going on so that's getting pretty pretty popular and trendy on twitter and whatnot because i'll be staying on this stuff but i don't be talking about it so this is gonna turn into a new uh turn into a new topic or segment i'm doing on my video so anyways Let's get into what happened. So, Soldier Boy versus Chris Brown. This is the timeline of the beef, man. How it started. It's starting to get big, like the Drake and Meek Mill. It's starting to get everywhere because it's just been blown out of proportion to now they're planning a pay per view fight, a boxing fight to settle this all down. So, anyways, it's just, you know, it just started off with Soldier Boy. Karuchi. If y'all don't know who Karuchi is, it's Chris Brown's ex. She broke up with him because she found out he had a kid behind her back. But Karuchi. She basically turned famous because of Chris. You know, Chris made her famous. But no no hate on her. She 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 looked all right. But Karuchi, she put up a pic. And I guess Soulja Boy went over there and said, oh, she looked beautiful. No, she, he put down heart eyes on her pic. And then I don't know if it was made up that Soulja Boy said that Chris Brown called him, FaceTimed him, and said, why you liking her pic and started tripping over it. But Chris Brown says that he claims that he didn't call him. So it's either just a made up thing by Soldier Boy or Chris Brown really did call her. It doesn't really matter because the beef is already going on right now. But after the pick was uploaded and whatnot from Karuji, basically Soldier Boy put down hard eyes and um, Soldier Boy called out Chris for saying that, you know, oh, he called me on FaceTime. He was tripping over his ex. Like, why are you worried about it and whatnot? So that's when it all went down. Like, you know, Soldier liked this pick. Breezy started, you know, you know, <laughs> Breezy, man. See Breezy out here. Chris Brown started it. He wanted to pick a fight, you know. He It was just videos back and forth and whatnot. This is how, you know, this is just a normal beef until then. Soldier Boy goes live on Instagram, I believe. I think it was live on Instagram. He just went live on, I don't know which part of social media. I want to say it is Instagram, but he got robbed, I guess. He got, you know, jumped by one of his crew members and whatnot. One of his own crew members in in the live video so he got pushed around or something dropped the phone the phone got picked up by somebody else you know he got robbed on live and then afterwards it was just you know it's still at this time it's still back and forth pictures and videos about each other just a normal beef how it's going they just talking about each other on social media and whatnot so this is where soldier boy gets robbed and stuff you know live and then chris brown puts up videos and stuff referring to that robbery you know just clowning dude just clowning soldier boy and then soldier boy comes out with a video saying oh his mom is in the hospital and he said he would like to work on you he, he would like to work on music with chris brown so at this point i'm thinking like oh the beef over already they already done with the beef but no no it's just how it's just weird how he said i like to make beef with chris brown because his mom just got into the hospital and he has all these regrets for what he's doing right now how the beef's going and just his life is in just terrible hands right now so it's just like soldier boy wants to turn this all around just want to end the beef with everybody quavo all the beefs he had with everybody quavo man uh it was somebody else. i forgot dude's name but it was a beef with somebody else that it stopped but now this potential beef is going on between him and Chris still. I thought it was over with because he said he wanted to work on music with him. But I don't think Chris was handling that too well. So he's not. Chris said he wanted to continue that beef, man. He ain't want to take no sorry from him like that. He ain't want to, uh, you know, slew down to his level saying sorry and whatnot. So then Karuchi and Chris started trading words and whatnot. And then, yeah, like I said, Soldier Boy got robbed. And I think that's pretty much it. 
until then soldier boy just got you know he got associated into the money team with floyd mayweather so mayweather is now going to be training soldier boy in the boxing ring you know i believe this boxing match is about to be like in march or something some pay-per-view i don't know if it's real or not but it seemed it seemed real to me it really do seem real to me so floyd mayweather is on soldier boy's side you know basically you know training him and whatnot so floyd mayweather is training soldier boy so he's training soldier boy I thought he would be the one to train Chris Brown and whatnot, but I believe Chris Brown could fight already. He looked like he could fight himself, but anyway, that's pretty much it, man. 50 Cent is on Chris Brown's side. You know, 50 Cent is good friends, good, uh, greatly associated with Chris Brown. They made music together and whatnot. It's just the fact that Floyd Mayweather, is, is, is he's training. He assigned Soldier Boy to the money team. That's the crazy part about it. I'm some somewhat losing respect for Floyd Mayweather because I li- I did look up to Floyd Mayweather as a great boxer, although he still is. But it's just, I'm losing the respect for him because he put this dude on money team. But that's pretty much it, man. You know, you got the people that siding with Chris Brown. You got the people that siding with uh, Soldier Boy. My opinion is that okay. Let me get let me get let me get let me get started. My opinion. My opinion is just that, man. Chris is going to whoop Soldier. Chris is going to whoop Soldier. Now, Chris, I've always been listening to his music and whatnot. His music has definitely been very, it's very, it's been very great music to me. Soldier Boy, I'm, I'm not just picking these dudes just because of the music they put out and who they are in their career. Chris has always been successful and whatnot. I'm just going to state this. I'm just going to make this statement. Chris has always been successful throughout his career. He's been 10 decades, man. It's been a decade. Where he's been in the music career, Soulja Boy has also made his career for a decade as well. But I feel, I feel like he's almost a one-hit wonder with that crank that Soulja Boy song. I mean, he made some other songs too that made it a little. What is it called? I don't, I don't even remember what Soulja Boy made, but I remember that crank that Soulja Boy. I throw some of these on. He remixed that. I don't even know, but dude, I can't root for Soulja Boy at all. I can't go for Soulja Boy. So I honestly think that, in all honesty. Chris Brown finna win this all. They both claiming Fruit Town, Pot Room, and whatnot. They just all claiming this gang stuff. And then you got other people jumping and saying, like YG and the gang saying they not real bloods. They in the same city, but they ain't fighting yet. But they still getting this pay per view fight going. So I believe that's what's gonna happen. But I've gotta say, man, Chris Brown finna take it all the way. I honestly think that. Because I feel like I seen, I seen a video of Chris Brown boxing one time, like practicing boxing and whatnot. And then you could look at if you if you guys seen Soldier Boy how he played basketball, oh man man that just ends it all right here. So I honestly think and all, again in all honesty Chris Brown finna take this all the way, cause uh, Soldier Boy really ain't nothing. Although he may be getting trained by one of the greatest Floyd Mayweather, I don't think he gonna live up to what Floyd Mayweather is teaching. He gonna forget that when they get that in the ring. To, when they get to scrapping in the ring, he finna forget all of that. So I believe that Chris Brown finna take it all the way. But that's pretty much it, man. That's my opinion on it. That was the timeline of what's been going on between this beef. It's again, it's starting to get popular and trendy on Twitter and stuff. It's starting to get popular everywhere. Facebook, Instagram. I've seen a lot more videos from Chris Brown just retaliating. You know, responding back to Soldier. Soldier responding back to him. It's getting crazy, man. It really is getting out of hand. So that's pretty much it. I honestly think again, Chris. He finna finna whip that ass, man. He finna whip that ass. But anyways, man. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Who's going to win this? Soldier Boy or Chris Brown, man? Again, Floyd. Floyd training Soldier, but I think Chris, he's still going to take it. No dick riding, man. No dick riding at all. Anyways, man, subscribe. Drop a comment. Drop a like. What y'all think about this? I'm out.